There is a trick that I will tell you about this. Oh, actually, you're climbing up the You might have already known about this, but you're all painters, right? Most of you are painters? No, I do stained glass. I'm a crafter. All right. When you're painting, the first thing you should do is you should get a bottle of lotion or a tube of lotion and put it in your kit. And put that on before you start painting because it's a lot easier to get it off your hands when you go to wash it up. I have to do three days worth of dishes to get it off and then wash it up. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> okay. Let's do this. It really sticks. And it's so much fun. Look at the grapes. Oh. Yep, it's a lot of fun. And the leaves. It's a nice break from homeschooling. I have a 14 year old. Uh -huh. Boy. He probably just wants race cars. I do. You know, actually, he started painting with me when he was. I want to say he was either four or five, and I was teaching a class, and he just walked up to my easel, took the brush out of my hand, and just calmly started teaching my class. <laughs> and they're looking at him, and, and I just went, okay, let's see how it goes. So he went ahead, and he taught them how to do um, basic daisies, is what he started out with. And you just push, and then you pull it and lift it off like that. So that's what he did. He just grabbed the brush and showed them how. Then he showed them how to do the simple leaves. He did these. And then he said, I have to go to bed. So off he went. And that was the first time that he painted for my class. They thought that was hysterically funny. And I was like, well, you know, he's he watches me and, and he paints with me. So it's not surprising to me. So he kind of became part of the group. Great. Okay. Now you wanted to know how big a brush you could almost how big can you handle? How how big a brush can you hold? Because like I said, I was up and I was painting grapes. The grapes are big. They're like that big in this house because it's got 12 foot ceilings in this house. So when you stand back and you're looking at it, you've got to have the right scale. I mean, I couldn't paint my little, my little tiny grapes. Oh, that takes a big brush. Yeah, it would look like. Does that work well then? With a bigger brush? Yeah, it does. I've, uh, I've taken brushes and modified them. I've cut them. I have one of those little metal styluses that you put dots on with. Uh, yep. Like and seeds I'm on the daisy. Yeah, yeah. I have, <laughs> you name it, I have barbecue skewers. <laughs> I have chopsticks. <laughs> I use the back end of brushes for all kinds of things. I'm going to pull this off in a second so that you have, you have a chance to see some of these other things. So, Basically, when you're when you're building roses, I do roses a lot looser than I did in the beginning. And if I think I might have brought a couple of the um, the sheets, the, there's all kinds of study sheets, and you name it, as far as subject matter, she made it, and she had so many. So many books. I think I'm, I've got all of her books. And she's over 50, over 50 books. But the worksheets are what I find the most valuable. And I think students did as well. And after a point, what I did is I started, I started making my own worksheets. Because I was teaching, I was already teaching beyond Donna Dewberry. So. That's why I say I, I don't just paint Donna Dewberry anymore. So when I'm I'm teaching a beginner's class, I have to I have to go backwards and just erase the other people that I've been painting with and I've gone past Donna Dewberry.
So go back to very simple. This is what you would see in some of the very first roses that are in her uh, uh, first two or three or four books. You'll see those. And then... I don't know. And there's no such thing as a mistake. If there's something you don't like, you can paint over it. And, and I was kind of One of the, the early, the very early roses that she painted, they had loops in them. I keep forgetting about it. So you see this, and you're looking at her. So you see those. And she would do everything. She wouldn't stop. I stop because oops, I start losing my shading. So I'll go back and I'll pick up. If I walk over here, is it going to spot you? Wow.